Hello everyone, welcome back to today's exciting video about an incredible opportunity, internship opportunity with Tata Steel's Downstream Production Products Limited. Okay, so if you are a student or a recent graduate, that is if you are a student or if you are doing a BE, BTEC, MBA, even if you have completed your BSc, MCA, sorry, your BSc and you have entered into MBA. Okay, so it may be anything. So BBA, MBA, whatever it is and CA, if you are doing your CA, you are can apply for this internship where you will be gaining a hands-on industry experience with one of the India's most renowned company. So before we proceed, I'd like to tell you that this is my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go and subscribe here. And this is a playlist which is very essential for the students' killer playlist. So if you click on this playlist, it will take you to this particular complete video series where I will be updating about the internship opportunities free courses for the students they should do microsoft latest announcements about the technology um, internship job opportunities everything i'll be talking about so please don't forget to watch this particular playlist so let's just go ahead with this this is what the link is in the description please go and check that this is the data steel downstream product uh, products limited and you can see that it is like 8 to 12 weeks of internship with project Okay, and students from various business schools and engineering institutes of repute across the um, across the country to be a part of its internship program. So this is here they have they will be engaging the students with a field experience, and they will be giving on the job learning opportunity as well. The interns will be sharing their insights and explore the linkage between their academic learnings and the industry corporate exposure. So here you can see. There you can you are now ready to apply for this job. So sorry for this internship. You can just click here. Okay. So once if you click here, it will take you to this particular page. You can see that BE BTech students must complete sixth semester if you are in BE BTech. If you are an MBA student, you must have completed the second semester. Okay. So uh, if you are uh, a CA student, you will be eligible for industrial trainees post submission of institution approval letter. So you have to submit the approval letter. So this is the complete details like you have to enter the name, middle name and the last name. You have to enter the present contact address, your city, state, PIN code, your permanent address, your personal information, your date of birth, your gender, your category, marital status, email ID. While entering email ID, please be careful because sometimes you know people are uh, missing the words. Okay, so instead of uh, because we are typing it fast even if you are applying it through your mobile phone be careful when you are applying it okay so be and ensure twice or even thrice that what you have entered is correct next is what like a phone number give a proper phone number and next is you have to enter the 10th uh, institution where you have completed a 10th 10th ma 10th uh, ex exam uh, year of passing aggregate mark and the subject okay 12th year of passing aggregate uh, aggregate mark and the subject graduation if you don't have post graduation if you are doing your be or btec you have you can just leave this post graduation on others okay and um, if you are doing ca you can mention like others in the others what uh, you have you are doing it okay and what is the year of experience if you have any year of experience you can uh, add this or else you can simply leave this and preferred location which location you are looking for because uh, this opportunity is open in multiple locations okay Chennai so you can see here the facilities are there in Chennai uh, Faridabad Jamshedpur uh, everywhere so you can just see here and uh, apply for this so preferred location I recommend you to just go and don't go and give your uh, any location okay if you for example if you are in Chennai you know you can apply Chennai because they have a facility in Chennai but here they don't have facility in Bangalore so don't enter Bangalore here okay any location where Tata is there Tata steel downstream products is there and then your institution authorization letter like your details should be there your institution in the letterhead better you can just get that from the letterhead and upload it you can even get the recommendation letter from your institution I have already discussed about how to write the recommendation letter uh, that you can find it in my playlist the same playlist you can find it okay so how to apply for the recommendation letter students recommendation letter and you have to attach the CV your curriculum video be ready with your CV because CV is important not if even if you are not applying for this particular internship it is good to have your CV ready with you 
because in future if you want to apply for any internship that time we cannot go and create for the first time right so it's ready if you have crossed your second year of uh, um uh, undergraduate or even if you are entering your first year of uh, post graduate i recommend you to create a cv with you have your letter of recommendations with you and also you can have your transcripts all the 10th to 12th uh, uh, transcripts in the sense you should have uh, taken a scan a scanned copy okay get your scan go scanned copy with you uh, of your 12th mark sheet 10th mark sheet any certifications you have uh, uh, you have received or any your ug mark sheets everything you should be ready with okay and any other details which would support you have to upload that and any other document which you want to upload additionally for example if you want to upload your certification you can upload it and finally you have to enter the captcha once you have submitted this the uh, uh, this uh, the online application will be submitted to, to them okay please ensure and be aware of the fraud because sometimes you know people will call and ask you like yes you have applied for tata steel so we need a uh we need the registration amount like this there is no registration amount involved in this and uh, don't uh, pay any money for the internship if they are paying you yes it's totally fine if you have to pay i recommend you not to go with that okay okay not even this any uh, company which is asking you to pay is not uh, it's not acceptable okay so that is very very important so here um be careful before you apply and uh, before you apply you should have all these details okay and also after you apply you should be very careful because you should not uh, you should not worry about any of the uh, cost you have to pay for that so any queries the application link is there in the description so you can apply for that and uh, if you are uh, if you have any other questions you can just let me know what are the questions you have and interning at dtsdpl is a great opportunity to develop skills that will boost your career whether you are aiming for a future in the steel industry or looking to build a broader understanding of corporate process if you are interested don't hesitate to apply and take a step closer to a brighter future and if you have any questions you know you can just comment your questions down i'll be happy to assist you if you have any uh, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also if you have any questions and if you want my support in uh, for your career guidance or for your internships call for your uh, sorry uh, for your certification readiness for a mock interview your resume review i'll be there to help you please schedule a call with me i'm happy to help you thank you take care and bye bye have a great day ahead i'll meet you soon on monday with an another exciting uh, internship opportunity